Hello everybody, this is Jacob and Jameson from Wager Me This. Um, this is gonna be a Monday night's video. I'm not going live tonight. Um, I'm just gonna make a video and upload it for you guys. This is for Monday Night Football, the Atlanta Falcons versus Philadelphia Eagles. All right. So the spread tonight is uh, Philadelphia minus five and a half, over and under sitting at about 45 and a half. Um, it's a primetime game, so we have primetime Kirk Cousin woes. A lot of that goes into this. Um, you know, he's at Atlanta, a new place. Um, I do think uh, the first game is an indicative of what the Falcons will be. They struggled really, really bad with the Steelers' defense. Not a surprise. Um, the Eagles are coming off the game in Brazil that was absolutely insane field conditions. Um, I don't know that we can gather a lot from that either, besides that the Eagles' defense, uh, the secondary is still bad, and they're going to give up a lot of pass yards and stuff. Um, so not surprising to me if this game gets higher scoring, but the primetime under scare me away from that total. Um, if I was going to play the total, which I'm not, I would play the over, um, but I, I'm not that sure of it. But what I do like, I like Atlanta getting the five and a half. I actually think Philadelphia's defense is going to keep Atlanta in the game. Um, I, and also with no A.J. Brown, I, I don't think Philadelphia is as explosive, which means we're going to see a lot more of Saquon Barkley, which, you know, in game one, he had three touchdowns and a hundred and something yards. And, I would tell something. Uh, what are you going to tell him? Well, I had a long dream at school today, and I had... A long dream for an, a good example. Okay, so he said a good example. So what he actually said in all that right there was that we like Atlanta plus the five and a half. We like Saquon Bar Barkley rushing and receiving yards over 100. This is a little juiced up at 125. But with no A.J. Brown, there's more targets going to get spread around to some of these other guys. Plus, you know Saquon Barkley is going to get the work. Um, Atlanta's defense is probably pretty solid. They added a lot of pieces. They were already an okay defense. Um, but I think Saquon Barkley catches the ball enough, and he's dynamic enough. And this is at home. I think he's going to want to show out in game one at home. You know, being a giant coming to Philly is kind of weird. Quit. Quit that. Quit that. Stop it. Hold on, let me finish what I'm doing, little okay. goofy. All right, so then the second thing I like, and this kind of goes with me liking the Atlanta play at five and a half, is I like Atlanta's team total over 20 and a half. Now, this might have to be an alternate team total because I got it at plus 105. So the actual team total that you guys might find on sites that only offer one is probably 18 or 19. But I liked it at the plus money over 20 and a half. Um, I think I do think Atlanta will get three touchdowns in the game or some equivalent of that. Um, and I like that it's a little bit of plus money there. Um, <clears throat> so, so far what we got is Atlanta plus five and a half. Saquon Barkley rushing and receiving combined yards over 100. And then we got Atlanta over 20 and a half on their team total. And the last bet I like in here is the total field goals over three and a half. That's either team. The, just the total field goals made in the game have to be over three and a half. And that's at plus 120. When I saw that plus, I really liked it because I do think there's going to be some scoring in this game. And there's going to be, you know, I don't think it's all going to be touchdowns. There is going to be some field goals. And, and the idea that it can be any four field goals from either side. So it can be three and one. It can be four from one side. Or it can be two and two or whatever. But the plus 120 really attracted me to that. So overall, what we got tonight, what I like in this one is Atlanta plus five and a half. Saquon Barkley rushing, receiving over 100 um, combined yards. And then Atlanta team total over 20 and a half. And then the total field goals over three and a half. Um, again, no A.J. Brown in this one. Jalen Hurts is going to give the ball to some other players. And I almost went with Dallas Goddard's receptions and Devontae Sip Smith, uh, Devonta Smith's receptions. But they were juiced up, uh, you know, because those, those, those balls got to go somewhere. And they're probably going to go to those guys. I'm hoping that Saquon catches a few more tonight. Um, but I do think Atlanta has a real shot at winning this game um, just outright. And, and I know Kirk Cousins' primetime woes and all that. And, and, and that all could be true, and that could all come back to fruition here. But 
But I, I actually think that the Atlanta offense <coughs> was more stifled by the Pittsburgh's defense and the quality of their defense than it was themselves. Um, and, and Philadelphia doesn't field that type of defense. <laughs> Here's the goofy. And feel, you know, and their secondary is terrible. So guys like Drake London, Kyle Pitts are probably going to have a pretty big day today. But again, their props were juiced up as well. That's why I went with the ones I want. Like, I, I really like the field goal prop because it's any four field goals and it's plus 120. That's pretty good. But that's why I like Atlanta. Atlanta plus five and a half. Tell them, buddy. My favorite food is salad, chicken nuggets, and hot dogs, and burgers, and McDonald's fries, and um, <laughs> chicken, and um, um, apple slices, <laughs> tomatoes, popsicles, <laughs> and that's everything. All right. That's his favorite foods, guys. Popsicles was the last one. That's cool. But anyways, guys, thank you for your time. Have a good night, Monday Night Football. Hopefully you win your bets. Um, again, if you're fading me, I still hope you win your bets. That's fine. Um, you can't win them all, right? So anyways, guys, y'all have a great night. This is Jacob and Jameson from Wager Me This.